हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईपीजी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर संदीप वालिया हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट यूनिवर्सिटी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टूरिज्म एंड हॉस्पिटैलिटी मैनेजमेंट चंडीगढ़ यूनिवर्सिटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द मॉड्यूल मेजर एयरक्राफ्ट मैन्युफैक्चरर्स अंडर द पेपर एविएशन इंडस्ट्री टिकटिंग एंड फ्रंटियर फॉर्मेलिटीज आफ्टर कंप्लीटिंग दिस मॉड्यूल द स्टूडेंट्स will be able to understand the meaning of airliners and various type of commercial airliners they will also be able to understand the major aircraft manufacturer companies of the world they will also come to know about the companies that are involved in the production and manufacturing of general aviation aircrafts dear students with the advancement of technology and safety concerns the design and making of aircrafts or airplanes have also been advanced these changes may be because of the changing aspirations and needs of customers or may be because of the safety and security concerns global competition ever changing technological landscape or sustainability of the individual airlines which collectively contributed to the overall change of advancement of aircrafts or airplanes in the aviation industry the present module will discuss and will be focused on meaning and various type of airliners different types of aircrafts the major aircraft manufacturer companies of the world the module shall also briefly discuss about the various companies involved in the production and manufacturing of general aviation aircrafts let us first discuss about the airliners students the airliners may be defined as the aircrafts or the airplanes that used to transfer air passengers and cargo the airline companies mostly operate these aircrafts however the definition of airliner may vary from one country to another but typically an airliner may typically be defined as the aircrafts which intend to transfer or carry numerous passengers and cargo in commercial service operated through any of the airline companies let us now discuss about the different type of airliners there are four different type of airliners which are described ahead The first one is the wide body airliners. These are also called as the largest airliners. Generally, the wide body jets are the largest airliners. Wide body airliners are commonly called as the twin acel aircrafts because they have two separate acels running from the front and the back side of the passenger cabin. The common example of aircrafts of this category includes airbus a300 a310 airbus a330 airbus 350 and airbus a380 the most common examples also include boeing 747 boeing 767 777 lockheed l1011 and many more such aircrafts flies from major cities and are generally used for the long haul flights the time and distance of the flight is very long the second one is the narrow body airliners the most common class of airliners is known as the narrow body airliners the airliners are also called as single acel as they have only single acel such aircrafts are generally used for medium haul or medium distance range of flights they used to carry lesser passengers as compared to the wider body airliners the most common example of narrow body airliners are embraer e jets 190 and 195 airbus a320 family boeing 717 and boeing 737 and many more the future aircrafts is narrow body airliners and also embraces bomb rider c series The next one in this category is the regional short haul and feeder line aircrafts. These may be defined as the non mainline counterparts of the larger aircrafts which are operated by major airliners. 
to feed traffic into the larger airline hubs or the cities. Such aircrafts have a lesser passenger capacity, maybe lesser than 100 passengers. These aircrafts are power driven by turbofans or turboprops. These aircrafts are mainly used on particular routes to enhance frequency, need and service levels of consumers in the marketed product that is offered by larger airline companies. These feeder airliners are mostly contracted by larger airline carriers to provide services to passengers from smaller cities to main hub or the cities and vice versa. Sometimes the regional airliners are also painted in the liveries of the major airliners for which they are providing feather services. In order to offer the market a smooth changeover between the smaller airlines to the larger airline. Some of the aircrafts which are used in this class are Bomb Rider CRG and Embraer ERG jets along with Bomb Rider Qui Dash 8 series. The next one and the fourth one in this is commuter liners used by regional airlines and air taxi operators. The commuter aircrafts are those aircrafts which are lightest and used to carry maximum 19 or fewer passenger seat are called as commuter or feather aircrafts or commuter liners or feather liners or sometimes air taxis also. These may vary from country to country depending upon the size of the engines, their marketing in the particular region of the world and the seating capacity. Because of the different regional and national directives or policies, a commuter aircraft may not be able to qualify as airliners in some of the countries. These aircrafts normally lack basic services like lavatories and galleys and may not fly with a flight attendant or air crew member. Some of the common examples of the aircrafts that comes under this category include the Beechcraft 1900, Jetstream 31, Embraer EMB 110 and Fairchild Metro. The companies like Boeing, Chaplov and Airbus mainly manufacture the narrow body and wide body jet liners. Whereas Embraer and Bomb Rider mainly manufacture the regional airlines. For the manufacturing of aircraft, the companies require the sourcing of various different and distinct parts of the aircraft and then they assemble all those to complete the manufacturing process. There are many suppliers of such specialized parts and they have a great network all around the world which help to fulfill the demand of such manufacturers who mostly provide the design initially and later they supply the final assembled craft from their factory. Air cargo and passengers both are transported through airliners, which is a type of aircraft. Mostly these type of aircrafts are operated by the airlines only. Meaning of airliner can be different from region to region, but basically it is an aircraft that is used to carrying or transporting cargo material or the passengers in official or commercial services. There are five main civil transport aircrafts manufacturers which are discussed as follows. The first one is the Bomb Rider. The second one is Airbus. The third one is Tupolev. The fourth one is Embraer. And the fifth one is the Boeing. Dear students, let us discuss first the Bomb Rider. The Bombardier is a public company which deals in aerospace, railways and defense. The company was founded in Valcourt, Quebec in Canada and its founder was Joseph Ament Bombrader. The company has worldwide operation and serving in almost all the regions of the world. The Bombardier is a global transportation company. It makes its presence throughout the world, thereby operating its offices in 60 different countries around 5 continents. The company basically works on two business services that is 
rail transportation and aerospace. They also used to make trams. They are very renowned manufacturer of aircrafts and are the world's third largest civil aircraft producer. Bombardier is famous as aircraft design makers and make unique products for aviation industry. They also provide services to regional aircrafts and also for various other businesses. At present, the Bombardier have headquarters in Montreal, Canada and around 32,500 employees are working for this company worldwide. This company's high efficiency aircraft and various services are observed in many different markets which include business aircraft in which Learjet, Challenger and Global Aircraft families are there. The second is the commercial aircraft which includes the new series program, CRJ series and Q series aircraft families. The third one is the amphibious aircraft and that includes Bombardier 415 and Bombardier 415 MP aircrafts. The next one is the jet travel solutions which includes flex jet. Then there is a specialized aircraft solutions that includes Bombardier aircraft designed for unique and special missions. The next one is the aircraft services and training that includes parts of aircrafts, comprehensive training, technical help, maintenance and publications and online services. Dear students, let us now discuss about the Airbus. The Airbus was founded on 18 December 1970 by the name Airbus Industry and later in the year 2001 the name was changed to Airbus SAS. The founders of the Airbus were Roger Vettili, Flex Sketch, Henry Ziegler and Frank Joseph Strauss. The company's headquarter in the Blagnac region of the France. Airbus is a global company having worldwide operations and providing services related to manufacturing of commercial airliners to the most of the regions of the world. The parent company is the Airbus Group and the other subsidiaries are Airbus Corporate Jets, Airbus Operations SAS, Airbus ProSky and Stia Aerospace. The company manufactures and produces mostly in France, Germany, Spain, China, United Kingdom and the United States. Airbus started as an association for the production of aerospace and it was named as Airbus Industry. Total people employed in this company are around 72,817. In the year 1999 and 2000, connection between European defenses with aerospace companies led in setting up of a simplified joint stock company by the end of the year 2001. The European Aeronautic Defense and Space Company bought it up with a share of 80% and BAE System with a share of 20%. But on 13th October 2006, BAE sold its sharing to European Aeronautic Defense and the Space Company because of the process of protected sales. There are 16 important sites of Airbus in four different countries that is France, Germany, Spain and the United Kingdom. The last process of the production that is the assembling of different parts of aircraft is done at Toulouse, France, Hamburg in Germany, Civil in Spain, Tianjin in China. There are different branches of Airbus in United States, Japan and India. This company is world's top aircraft producer covering close to 50 to 55 percent of the orders from airliners with more than 100 seats. Airbus company's aircraft is recognized for its economics, versatility and comfort. Airbus presently has an operation of 14 jet aircrafts that has a seating capacity of 100 to 525 passenger seats. Students, let us now discuss about Tupolev. Tupolev is a Russian and Soviet Union based defense and aerospace company. It was founded in the year 1968. The headquarters of this company is in Moscow, which is in Russia. 
The company has an official name that is Public Stock Company Tupolev as known as PSC Tupolev. The company is a limited service company only and produces narrow body jet liners. Both civil and military aerospace products are produced, developed and overhauled like aircraft and weapon systems by PSC Tupolev. This company also works aggressively in producing naval aviation and missile technologies by producing more than 18,000 Tupolev aircraft for the Eastern Bloc of USSR. One of the main prominent users of Tupolev aircrafts is Russian Air Force People Liberation Army. From past many years, PSC Tupolev have given many of the designs which have been experimental aircrafts while the company has also produced several various production series aircraft that might have 400 5000 runs as same as in the TU2. Dear students, let us now discuss about Embraer. Osiris Silva founded Embraer on 19th August 1969. It mainly deals in the aerospace and defense sectors. The major products manufactured by the company are military business and commercial aircraft parts, mission systems for air as well as ground operations. Embraer is having more than 19,116 employees and having its services operating worldwide. The other subsidiaries of the company are Nivea, OGMA, ATEC, Bradar and Civisys. The company has several divisions namely Embraer Defense and Security, Embraer Commercial Aviation, Embraer Executive Jets. This company has become the main aircraft producer worldwide with the focus set on particular market section or market part with favorable growth prospective in executive aviation, defense and commercial. The head office of Embraer is located in Sergio's Dos Compos which is in Brazil. From the year 1996, more than 1000 ERJs has been introduced by Embraer and conveyed to more than 37 airlines from 24 different countries. The three markets that Embraer produced aircraft is used or includes the first one is the commercial aviation in which Embraer 120, ERJ 135, ERJ 140, ERJ 145, ERJ 145XR, Embraer 170, Embraer 175, Embraer 190 and Embraer 195 are there. The second category is Defense Systems in which Super Tucano EMB-145, AEWNC, EMB Multi-Intel, EMB-145 MB and Legacy 600 is there. And the third category is the Executive Aviation in which Lineage 1000, Legacy 600, Legacy 500, Legacy 450, Phenom 300 and Phenom 100 aircrafts are there. Students, let us now discuss about the Boeing. Boeing is an American-based public sector multinational corporation or the company. It mainly deals in the aerospace and defense sectors. The founder of the company was William Boeing. The company was founded on 15 July 1960 and was introduced as Pacific Aero Products Corporation, Seattle headquartered in Washington in the United States. The company is presently headquartered at Chicago region of Illinois in the United States of America. The company offers various other services like leasing and supporting solutions and the area of company's operation is the worldwide. The company produced around 745 aircrafts and 10 satellites till present. The company in terms of products manufactured and has produced Boeing 737, Boeing 747, Boeing 767, Boeing 777, Boeing 787, Boeing FA 18E Super Hornet, Boeing CH 47 Chinook, Boeing 702 Satellite Family. In terms of employees, the company has given employment to around 1,56,921 employees. The other divisions of the company are Boeing Commercial Airplanes, Boeing Defense Surface and Security, 
Boeing Capital Engineering, op Operations and Technology and Shared Services Group. The company basically deals in the designing, producing and selling of various other equipments like airplanes, rockets, rotorcrafts and satellites and is guided by its president and chief executive officer Dennis Muhlenberg who guides the company. The Boeing Corporation is the most largest aircraft producer all around the world. On the basis of 2015 revenue details, the Boeing is the second largest company in the defense contractor worldwide. If calculating the dollar value in the United States, this company is the largest exporter in the country. Dow Jones Industrial Average is the constituent of Boeing merchandise. The recorded sale of this company in the year 2015 was 96.11 billion US dollars and according to Fortune magazine it was ranked 27th on the list of Fortune 500 which was printed in the 2015 as well as in 2015 itself it was given 90th rank in Fortune Global 500 list by the end of the year 2015 Boeing was the 27th rank on the list of world's most admired companies Counting for the main aerospace companies, Boeing is one of them and the company is the largest producer of military aircrafts and commercial jetliners too. The other subsidiaries of the Boeing company are Avial Services, Boeing Aircraft Holding Company, Boeing Australia, Boeing Canada, Boeing Capital Corporation, Boeing Commercial Space Company, Boeing Defense UK and the Jepson. Dear students, let us now discuss about the major manufacturers of general aviation aircrafts in the world. General aviation may be defined as the all non-scheduled civil flying operations, both private as well as commercial. General aviation can also include the services like business flights, private aviation, flight training, air charters, ballooning, parachuting, aerial photography, hand gliding, gliding, foot launched power hang gliders, air ambulance, crop dusting, charter flights, traffic reporting, police air patrols and forest firefighting. The following small aircraft manufacturers are among a number of other manufacturers that serve as the general aviation market with a focus on private aviation and flight training. The first one is the Cessna, the second one is Cirrus Design, third one is the Diamond, then there is the Mooney and the last one is the Piper. Let us discuss about the Cessna first. Students, the Cessna aircraft company is a leading designer and manufacturer of light and mid-size business jets, utility turboprops and single engine aircraft as they have sold and delivered more aircraft than anyone else. They started more than eight decades ago as a small aircraft company in the Vichitya, Kennes, USA with an aim to build a monoplane that used a wing without struts or braces and now they employ over 15,000 people worldwide. The company is a subsidiary of the United States conglomerate Textron. The second one is the Cirrus Design. Cirrus Design Corporation is an aircraft manufacturer and the world's leading innovator of single engine piston powered aircraft with their SR-22 being the world's best selling airplanes in its class. They began their operation in the year 1984 as a kit airplane and design manufacturing company in Wisconsin in the United States with their VK-30 aircraft before moving their headquarters in 1994 to Minnesota in the United States to begin research and development of the SR-20 which is a four passenger single engine composite aircraft with the help of over 950 employees. Since they have started, they have also manufactured the fuselage, wings and tail section of the tactical unmanned aerial vehicle which is TAUV for the US Department of Defense using composite technology in all three components. 
series have also developed the SRV, SR20 and SR22 to incorporate flat panel, multifunction, display technology and state-of-the-art safety innovations including a final level of protection known as the Cirrus airframe parachute systems which is a ballistic parachute de deployed from the back of the aircraft in most cases that allows the entire aircraft to descend safely from an emergency. The third one is the diamond. Diamond Aircraft Industries is an Austrian-based manufacturer of general aviation aircraft, motor gliders and stimulators. They are a global manufacturer with offices in North America, Europe, Asia and Australia employing around 1,200 people and producing over 3,500 aircrafts. There are two production facilities, one located in Austria, which is the head office for the research and development operations and one in the Canada. At both of these facilities, they produce aircraft for flight schools and for private operators. The fourth aircraft manufacturer of general aviation is Muni. The Muni Airplane Company, which is abbreviated as MAC, is a United States manufacturer of single-engine general aviation aircraft, which was founded in the year 1929 and who have since delivered more than 11,000 aircrafts worldwide. The headquarters are located in the Cavili in the Texas. Mooney serves 10,000 customers in the US and 1,000 internationally with a fleet of aircraft that has flown more than 40 million hours. During their involvement in the aviation industry so far, Mooney has accumulated a number of significant achievements including producing the first pressurized single-engine piston-powered aircraft, the production of the fastest single-engine aircraft, that is the Muni Acclaim, first production aircraft to achieve 200 miles per hour or 200 HP, and the fastest transcontinental flight in a single-engine piston-powered aircraft. All Muni aircraft have the signature vertical stabilizer, which its vertical leading edge and swept trailing edge that gives the illusion of being forward swept. Dear students, the next one and the last one is the Piper. Piper aircraft is a manufacturer of general aviation aircraft located at the Vero Beach Municipal Air Airport in Vero Beach in Florida. Mr. Piper introduced the Piper Club in 1937 and since then Piper aircraft have become the only general aviation manufacturer to offer a complete line of aircraft from rugged trainers to high performance turboprops and the new Piper jet producing more than 1,44,000 aircrafts, 85,000 of which are still flying. They currently manufacture Meridian Business and Personal Transportation, Mirage, Matrix, Seneca, V, Seminole, Aero, Warrior 3 and Piper jets. Dear students, let us now summarize what we have discussed in this module. Since from the inception of the air travel, the aviation industry has shown a remarkable growth. The technological advancements, growing competition and the safety concerns have resulted in the various new innovations in the aircraft or in the airplanes manufacturing process. Because of the changing landscape and introduction of new competitors in the market has forced the airline companies to provide passengers with the unmatchable flying experience. The cabin is the important part as the passengers used to sit in the cabin during their journey in the aircraft. The cabin experience of the passengers in terms of services and amenities provided to them by the airline companies makes an image of the airline and this image about the carrier in their mind and this perception sometimes they share with their fellow colleagues, friends and relatives which can generate a word of mouth praise for the airline carriers and the companies. With these words, I sum up this module. Thank you.